Hi, and welcome to the Dexstar video series. I'm Paul Selking, HVAC business leader with Regal. In this video, we'll be diving deeper into the Dexstar's technical components that make this product so unique. Helping us today is Chris Mahali, training manager for Regal. Thanks, Paul. This novel electromechanical design and component integration deliver unparalleled airflow efficiency. Dexstar's unique configuration compact and lightweight design and efficiency are truly revolutionary and can provide some exciting advancements for our OEM partners. The Dexstar system includes an axial motor in a blower wheel. This provides uniform airflow, improved heat transfer, reduced hot spots, and decreased pressure drops across the appliance. Additionally, we use a shaftless rotor system that allows the impeller to be hubless. So let's examine the operation and diagnostics of the Dexstar system. The Dexstar system will utilize our current variable speed motor control with the revolutionary axial motor design. The operational adjustments are similar to any current HVAC system that utilizes the same Gentech variable speed motor controls with 16 or four pin communication inputs. That is to say that the contractor will make any and all airflow, delay, or comfort feature adjustments on the HVAC system's control board, typically with the use of jumper pins, dip switches, or menu selections on the thermostat or interface. For this, the contractor will need the HVAC manufacturer's installation and or service guide. Diagnostics for this system will also be the same as what is currently used for any Gentech variable speed driven system. These diagnostics are covered in our ECM service guide which is available as a free app called DTB or free PDF download from our website thedealertoolbox.com. Diagnosing Gentech variable speed motors including the Dexstar is accomplished with the Gentech Tech Inspect Diagnostic Tool or any of our previously branded TechMate Pro tools. With this tool, any contractor can prove if the motor control is good or failed in just a few minutes. If the motor control is diagnosed as failed, the motor control can be replaced separately from the axial motor. Before replacing the motor control by itself, the axial motor must be diagnosed. This is a simple process of measuring the ohms values of the motor windings, checking for continuity to ground, and obviously rotating the blower wheel by hand to assess the bearing. As a reminder, all of these diagnostics are covered in the ECM service guide. If the motor checks out good, a new variable speed motor control can be connected to the existing axial motor. If the motor checks out failed, the entire blower section, including housing, blower wheel, motor, and motor control should be replaced. However, I should mention that in the almost 30 year history of ECM technology in HVAC applications, motor and or bearing failure issues are a very rare occurrence. As a former contractor, there is one more point that I would like to cover. What if the blower wheel becomes dirty and needs to be cleaned? This is also the same as with any variable speed system. Simply remove the entire blower section from the HVAC unit, remove the motor control and any other electronic controls, and rinse with water using a mild cleaning solution if needed. Allow all the components to air dry for as long as possible before restoring power the axial motor is not removed for this process and also do not submerge the axial motor. So how cool is that? Revolutionary design and efficiency improvements with no new operation or diagnostics to learn. What could be better? Thanks Chris. You can do more with less. Start your savings today and keep an eye on innovation. Join the conversation and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I'm Paul Selking.